Welcome, I'm Kenneth Andre, and this is Tenga Jitsu. So I'm going to do a talk about manifestation. It is important. I'm aware many people are in a state where you don't really want to manifest anything in this world anymore. Okay, you're at a point where you just, you want change and you want to get out. Okay, and rightly so too. <clears throat> But this is where we got to learn to apply the principles and gifts that we have. As it says in scripture, we lack no spiritual gift as we await the revelation, the revelation, the revelation of the Lord Jesus Christ within us. Okay. <clears throat> Not only that, there's a bit in the Bible where it mentions about the potter. Go down and see the potter working at the wheel. This is a mystery about how we can learn to manifest see what the father is doing with our imagination our mind and remold the clay okay again it's all about investing in the spirit the inner man the spirit man okay your eternal self and working with the father our builder for our, he our eternal heavenly home my first mystical experience was with trying to manifest. So it's a bit bright. <clears throat> so I'm going to give a basic insight into that. Okay. And again, even though I was manifesting a lot of my experiences throughout my life until the year 2011, I still after my ex mystical experience learning over the few years how to really manifest and intens intensify intensely apply myself to bring about manifestations only to find out it's not for this kingdom this is not my kingdom okay nonetheless it was an amazing investment it's all about investment and worship who do you invest in who do you worship where your consciousness goes, life flows. Okay. You got to learn to invest in the heaven within you. Okay. Because the behemoth, which is man, and the Leviathan, which is government, they're going to rob you. Okay. That's what I'm going to say. I'm saying. That's what I'm going to say. Okay. Again, these. This is an insight into the mystery in the Bible, giving you warning and where to properly apply yourself. Okay, so as I said in my previous video, I um, I start getting some spirit. I I got hold of a bag of spiritual material. Uh, sorry. A bag of tapes with sp spiritual mystical material on cassette tapes okay and I started listening to it and I started applying my mind to bring about manifestation I knew nothing about okay and even when I was trying to manifest stuff I didn't know what I was doing okay when I first start but sorry <laughs> getting carried away when I tried to manifest something spirit this is where I met spirit who was knocking on my door okay this is why this first um, mystical experience involves manifestation so let me get straight into it I was I I come across the secret the law of attraction, which is the law of imagination, consciousness, okay, and the secret power. I read these books. Do you know the first book I read was The Alchemist? The, I never read a book until I was 33, and the first major book I read right through was The Alchemist, and there is a mystery in that book, okay, that's what I'm going to say, which I put in my slides. <clears throat> anyway 
I said to my I said to my wife at the time, I'm going to manifest a, a banknote. All right. Now, remember I mentioned about my poverty consciousness? In my head, it was like this five quid note. I'm going to try and manifest a five quid note. And I'm going to do it at work. I was doing a lot of nights. The establishment I was on, the camp was on leave. I was an um, armed security guard. And I chose on the officer's mess, the car park where this manifestation would happen. I don't know why I did that, and I shouldn't have done that. <clears throat> but this is what I did back then. I didn't know what I was doing. So before I'd start um, really looking at the car park over four nights, again, I was conditioning myself, right, in the next four nights that I do, I'm going to try and manifest a five pound note. And I tried to do mad imagination before going to work and meditation, etc. Anyway, I start doing the nights. No one's coming in and out of that car park on the officer's mess because the camp's on leave. So I, the conditions are brilliant. Now, re remember, if you listen to my previous slides, I am searched trained i'm a search specialist i learned i did a course when i was in northern ireland doing counterterrorism for two years and so i become a specialist and i paid attention to them lessons okay so if i'm going to search i'm going to find if there's something there i'm going to find it all right but this is not a search mission this is manifesting all right so the first night i did about three Stagging on, as it says, standing on sentry for an hour and a half. I did three of them throughout the nights on this officer's mess car park. During that time, I searched the whole car park, okay, under the cars and the foliage, the drain, the drains everywhere along the fences. I literally went through that car park. There's no bank note, okay. That's the first night. Did it again the second night nothing third night nothing okay i'm going to try and keep this short get to the last night the fourth night i i did three stags on sentry three gates throughout the night still nothing and i thought that was it it doesn't work all right i, I don't know what i'm doing it's not working I'm driving back in with my partner into the other side to go on patrol. And he turns around and says to me, do you want to go back on this gate, on the last gate? Do another gate for me on this gate. Um, because I've got to give a key to a roommate. In which I said, yeah, absolutely. I thought, okay, this is strange. This could be it. So I go to stag on that gate my last gate but on that side okay on the officer's mess and i searched the car park for a good hour and it starts raining and there's nothing there is no bank no a fiver or anything in that car park i could hear the birds start singing as the sun was coming up <clears throat> And I went over to this bird in a tree. I don't know why I did this. Um, remember, I said I didn't seek God. I didn't know anything about God or spiritual knowledge or anything. Just these weird events just started happening. So I go over to this tree. Where I let this bird was in the tree and I could see this bird. It didn't fly off. And... I started talking to the bird like I was talking to God and I said God if you give me if you manifest this banknote I'll know there's more to reality that's all I want to know this is why I'm really trying to manifest things I want to know there's more to reality if you manifest for me if you manifest this for me right now I know there's more to reality and then I also said 
God, if you manifest this for me right now, I'll take this, I'll take the banknote over to the civvy guard on the gate, who is at the guard house, uh, at one of the guard posts, the civvy guard who does the bookings. And I said, I'll give it to him. It, all I want to know is that there's more of reality. With that, I walked away about five steps. I looked down and there was a five pound note. Funny enough, um, it was dry. It was the old five pound notes and it'd been raining. And I picked it up and it was like brand new off the press. Well, I teared up, eyes watering, because I knew if I did that once, I could do it again, because now I know there's more to reality. I went over to the guard house where the civvy was, and I said, I found this, do you want it? And he, was, he wasn't hesitant, he took it. <laughs> yeah, I'll have that, yeah, cheers. And I went away with, with my eyes watering, because I knew there was more to reality. Okay. Now, I just want to say, i got to be careful. Again, remember when I said, when I pause, just please bear with me. I'm being very careful what I say. Because this is where mystical experiences really started happening to me now. And I, I want to be careful what I say and a approach this carefully, okay? Because I don't want you to get any wrong ideas as well. This is about seeking God, seeking truth, learning to apply yourself appropriately, uh, trying to do that which is right. If you if you use certain secrets and principles wrongly, you're just digging yourself deeper into shield. Okay, it, as it says in scripture, shield gladly opens its mouth wide, and deeper you go, turtles all the way down. All right, infinite states, good and evil, and you will find yourself in very dark states very quickly. Okay. I've learned that money is the root of all evil. Use these skills and, and these secrets to connect yourself to source. Spirit says, I have come so you may live life and live it abundantly. Okay. You are powerful. You, you must learn to have self-control and discipline before you learn these secrets. You are that powerful that all things that are given to you okay it says i've all things are given to you but not all things are are constructive all right as it says all things are yours whether port or polis cephas of the world life or death or the present or the future all things are yours and you are in christ and christ is in god you lack no spiritual gift as you wait the revelation of lord jesus christ this involves even time travel, okay, the future, you're that powerful, all right, if you understand the nature of shield and this matrix that we're in through knowledge, okay, you're going to marvel at the possibilities, but at the same time, there's a lot of knowledge and wisdom that you need to obtain, and you, you need to be careful what you do and how you apply yourself. This is why father and the father mother, she is wisdom and she is the tree of life. It says that in the Bible. Find her and love her. She shouts on the street corners. Okay, remember Christ is the image, the power and the wisdom of God. And she cries out and she is the tree of life. This is in the Bible. All right. Father is above all, through all, and in all. He's like a protein being. He can take any form. He's omnipresent, all powerful, all knowing. OK, 
that is within you and we live and move and have our being in God. All right. And so you need to have self-control and discipline in, in applying yourself when receiving wonderful treasures of darkness. OK, uh, wonderful revelations of your spiritual gifts. Do not abuse it. All right. You will be protected and guided along your way. OK, and that feminine principle of God will nurture you. It will take care of you. It will comfort you and, and give you what you are ready to receive. You start off from milk before, before you start eating the meat. OK, only give the babes milk first all right so i'm gonna stop here all right this is just the first uh manifestation that i did and it was god's intervention that actually manifested the banknote for me okay because i at a time i did not know how to apply myself properly i do now but the way that i do it is more of investment in heaven not in things on earth. There's been times when I needed things. I've applied what I need. I applied what I've learned, and it manifested. But a lot of the time, a lot of the times, I just turn to spirit. I trust. Okay, He knows all my needs. I'm more worried about keeping myself disciplined, self-controlled and aware with the times that we're in. All right. Guys, there is so much going on in this realm. If you knew what was going on, it would, and excuse my language, you would shoot yourself. All right. There is entities and mystical forces at play that will blow your mind okay there's a lot more to this reality than what may seem and i know many of you already know that all right <clears throat> but there's nothing to fear okay and you are protected the angel of the lord is within you all right so thank you for listening to me i'm kenneth andre tengu jitsu master and mystic ninja thank you